Man, if that was my partner, I'd be freaking out. Tell me which drugs are you currently taking? I'm... That's why we're here today, doctor. It's the medications. They seem to be a problem, judging from what I just saw. My concern is the fetus. I'm gonna be honest here. I think he has a point. You are taking 26 pills a day. 26 pills a day? I'm doing what they're telling me to do. All I want is to feel better, and I have you angry with me, and every doctor makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong, and I don't know what it is that I'm doing. Well, the doctors, what the hell are they doing? Wow, this is just so complicated. I have to kind of imagine where the ass would be. And uh, that's where you get the hook to penetrate. Thanks for teaching me. Maybe it's like a girl worm. And maybe you're just sticking it in her. What? What is that? Are you dating any girls at school? I feel like he is a bit concerned. But you know how it works. Are we gonna have that talk? Man, this show is just so awkward. You just sit here and cringe. Did you see Jeffrey's expressions? He's like, oh, let me see. Slower. Can I do some? Can I try mine? See? Yeah, sure. Just be careful. I wouldn't even want to do this. He is enjoying himself too much. He's like, it's not working. This ain't doing much for me. Starting to get a bit frustrated. More awkwardness. So, guys. How is your day going? Well, hey, hey, this is none of your business. Go do your homework, Jeff. Then, then they snap at him. Going for another round? Please, no. Pleasures of the Orient. Nope. Didn't want any of that. He's like, my imagination is better. Of course, that is what would make him come. Hey, no, do that thing you did in Spanish class. It was hilarious. What did you do? Show us. Uh, the blue, blue <laughs> That's so funny, man. Is it? That's what they call doing a Dahmer. Secondhand embarrassment. What the hell are we doing now? Do we have to do this? Yes. Good question. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, Chaz, that is enough. Teacher. I'm sick. I have to go to the nurse. They got killed so we could dissect them. Sure. Exactly. We want to do this. Okay, Jeff. Thank you. That's enough. All right, guys. Please be very careful. No trips to the emergency room. Man, I don't know. I don't like this at all. I'm that girl. This ain't my thing. Cutting up dead animals. Hey, good work today, Jeff. I can tell you really got into that. Can we do it again? With people next time? I, I could take one home. No one has ever said that to me. Sure. Can I take one home? Hey man, I got another one. You want to come over? Another what? Another pig. Nah, you're just creeping him out now. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, no one enjoyed that, Jeffrey. You will retain all visitation rights, but I hereby award custody to Mrs. Dahmer. Thank you. Look at him. He is furious. This is just so toxic. I get to live with you. Well, we'll figure that out. I'm not sure about it. It's pretty clear that Jeff prefers his father. You're a good boy, Jeff. I don't even know what to say to that. You're a good boy, Jeff. <laughs> no! Come on! Focus on the road! I can't just leave. I got, I got graduation and prom. What are you talking about? You're staying here! Oh? You're just like your father, bonding over what a lunatic I am. She isn't very stable. It's always everyone else's fault, right? Just, just go take my brother and chase you UFOs. They're real! What the hell was this scene? I wonder how this impacted him. More anger? Frustration? What is he doing? I'm gonna get strong? Impress on the boys? Yeah, here we go. Okay, eyes on the road. I already told you once. I do like that we get his life story. Even though it's super awkward and cringy. Like, what the hell is this? What the hell is he doing? <laughs> the person who wrote this 
part what a troll what are you doing i don't want to see anything please should i be watching guys did you watch okay good jeffrey stop when are you gonna make your move jeff what are you doing Go going out gonna jog as well maybe you'll come across that dude he's like where is he no oh. Oh no, is that your plan? You want to attack him maybe? That is why you have the bat. Don't do it. I don't know how this goes. She's just gonna... Look at his eyes. Well, he couldn't do it. Why would you go with him? Guys, if someone came swinging at you like that, would you follow them home? No matter what they said, I'd be like, nope. I'm here by myself this whole time. Yeah. Didn't you ask him why? Why did you jump out of a bush? Well, you're here now. And that is all that matters. Oh yeah, of course. Yep, this is what should have happened. Well, good that he got away. Simon got transferred to Grand Rapids, and I got a job counseling women at a clinic there. So what are we doing here? I want you to take over. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? I don't know what to say. See, thank you very much. I'd love to do this. Yeah. I still feel like she can snap at any moment and just switch. You can't just walk in like that to, to class with alcohol. Well, he said that he used to drink in class and he didn't care about it. What's your dream? I want to know what your dream is. I don't think he's thought about it. Dad always said I was good at science stuff. And I got like a taxidermy station in the garage where I can dissect roadkill and whatnot. <laughs> Look at her. She looked a bit freaked out. I don't think everybody gets to have a dream. I feel like he has a point here. Many people are lost. And I don't know if they are necessarily lost. For some people it takes time to decide what they want to do in life. He's like, well, what? What is happening? Is this an opportunity? I'm trying to get to a concert in Chippewa Lake Park. Are you headed that way? I could be. Let's go then. What time you gotta be there? Shows at 7.30. Maybe we can hang out before that. Why am I turning into Jeffrey? What the hell is happening? I don't want to see things from his perspective here. I got some weed. Drink a few beers. Lift some weights. I don't know. Jeez. Wow, Jeff, you're so strong. What time is it? Shouldn't we be going? I think we should get moving. Yeah, I feel so as well. I mean, my buddy's there at like seven. It's like at least an hour away, right? Yeah, you should get a bit suspicious right now. What the? F Jeff, I think you're misunderstanding this situation. I'm just joking. Cause I'm not that way, man. Well, this is gonna turn awkward. Listen, man. You told me you would drive me to the concert. Just leave the place, come on. I want you to drive me there right now. Well, what if he says no? It's his car. I think the best best thing for you would be to just leave. Are you fucking crying? Oh, what the fuck? Jesus. He's like, who is this creep? Out of here, man. Yeah, Why just leave, come on. Now, fucking asshole, faggot. Nah, that's unnecessary, come on. <laughs> nope, I was not ready for that. He's like, that is what you get for yelling at me. How the hell is he not knocked out after that? He is gone. Oh, oh. Come on, man. Look at him. Freaking monster. Nope. He is dead. I assume that was the first one. The first person. No, no, no. Well, something was oh, wrong with him. No. His brain is just different. What will you do now? Just hide the body? And this was just such a perfect victim. I don't know if perfect is the right word, but no one will ever find him. People won't know where to look. Just a random hitchhiker. In the middle of nowhere. That is just scary. He's getting paranoid. 
Why are you going back? What are you gonna do now? Now, what are you gonna do? Dismember the body? Or experiment and explore? Yes, I might as well have fun with it. Thank you for not showing us. Oh, some people maybe wanted to see that. So, how will he get out of this? Give you a stupid excuse and you're just gonna accept it and move on as if nothing happened, as if nothing is wrong. When someone drives like that, you better inspect everything. Him, the car. Some garbage bags. So, guys, why didn't you check them? They're uh, the clippings from the yard. No, you can't buy that. So you got your whole life ahead of you. And I'm not gonna fuck that up by arresting you tonight, okay? Well, sure, but maybe you should check out his car. I don't wanna ever fucking see your face again, okay? Wow. What is he, the luckiest guy ever? They almost had him so many times. Everyone mistakes him for being a good boy. That's the problem. He just got rid of a person. That's that. All the evidence gone. Or most of it. Wow, that's chilling. The highlight of the show is the actor playing Jeffrey. He's so convincing that I sometimes forget that this is a show. It's just too real. This has to be one of the most difficult roles to play. There is so much to take into consideration. I'm very impressed by his performance. Anyway, more backstory in this episode. We just witnessed Jeffrey's first murder. A guy just wanted to vibe to Pegasus. Instead, he completely disappeared from life. As I said, there isn't much to enjoy here, it's just all so painful to go through. As a whole, this was probably the most awkward and cringy episode yet. If I was a snail, I'd be in my shell now, refusing to come out. I know that I'm both cringy and awkward, but this is even beyond that, I think, and I hope. I have to say that I'm very disappointed in Jeffrey's parents. I do understand them both, and their right to live a happy life, but surely they could have handled this whole situation a lot better. Anyway, my favorite scene was probably that whole piglet part. He was so into it. Another solid episode, probably an 8 out of 10 at most. I don't feel like the ratings matter when it comes to stuff like this. We're getting Dahmer's story, and that's that. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a watcher. This channel is proudly powered by Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, uncut watch-alongs, exclusive reactions, or if you simply want to see everything before everyone else does, then for the price of a drink, you can unlock it all. Follow the link in the description for more information. And most importantly, Thank you for the support.